first. Be the first to, ex to extend that trust. Too often, the default is that we start with distrust, especially in a low trust world, like you were saying at the start, uh, Martin, that we're, there's an existential crisis of trust around us. That distrust can become contagious. So if you come in as a new leader, if you start with trust, what a difference that makes. So I look at the example of that when David Novak, you know, he became the CEO of Yum Brands, you know, uh, that operates all over the world, KFC, uh, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, all these stores. When he first took it on the role as the president of KFC, he came in, they were a little bit uh, broken. There was distrust between the franchisees and the, and the home office corporate. And he came in and he said, look, my first act of leadership is very clear. We're going to trust our franchisees. And the people around him said, whoa, 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 they're the problem. You can't trust them. That's why we're trapped in this cycle of distrust. Because no, they, 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 you know, these are good people that invested in many cases their entire life savings. And we're going to believe in them. We're going to trust them as a starting point. And by him going first, not only being trustworthy, but being trusting, people responded back in kind. Mm -hmm.